question. Uh, no, of course, mostly positives. Uh, I would say, you know, by beating Rafa in, in, in Paris, you know, at least I showed to myself uh, that I could do it. Uh, you know, I, somewhere deep down, you know, I knew that I could play really well. I could compete with the top guys, but and I did it in the smaller tournaments. But this was the first time I beat, you know, one of the top guys in the Grand Slam, and uh, it gave me a lot of confidence. Sure, but also after that, you know, I broke into the top 10, top five. And I think that's, you know, in my mind, always when I played, you know, as a kid, I thought, okay, if you be, if you reach the top in the world, everything's going to be great. That was for me the end goal. But when I were there, you know, all of a sudden I was four in the world and I realized it's not the end. Now it starts, you know, now the real pressure starts. And, and that a uh, completely new situation for me and that's why you know uh, I'm even more impressed by you know Rafa, Novak, uh, Roger they, uh, that they could keep up you know being top players in the, in the world for so many years you know still motivated they won everything you can possibly win and they still want to be out there you know they're way over way over 30 years old and they still want to compete and they still compete for the biggest title. It's amazing. Crazy, you know, it was, I think, nine years before I, uh, since I played my last match. And then I would, of course, say Nadal, Djokovic, Federer. And now, nine years later, I would still say the, the three same players. It's it's unbelievable. I don't think, you know, they're the... They're the three best players in the history playing at the same time. But also, it's it's nice to see that some other players are are coming up now, really really challenging uh, those three top guys. You know, team is doing really well. Um, Medvedev is a player I I really enjoy watching. You know, he's extremely tough to beat. Uh, Zverev, he's he has a really good game. He's been so far he's been a little bit too much up and down, but players are coming up, which is which is great to see. Not really. Um, I think tennis has evolved a little bit. I think now you see taller and taller players all serving well, but uh, not maybe hitting as hard. But for sure, the tall players are moving better. Uh, you know. or maybe if you go back even more, 20 years ago, you could see all the tall guys, strong guys, they could serve well, hit good ground strokes, uh, but the weakness was uh, their movement uh, and footwork around the court. But if you look at guys like Sverev, Medvedev, they move extremely well, even though they're almost two meters tall. I played, uh, you know, Grigor came up, a uh, young guy, extremely talented. I saw him as a, as a top player and he really is a top player, you know, when, when he plays well, he's for sure up there. You know, what he couldn't do was, uh, so far, he couldn't find the consistency um, to really be up there year after year. Uh, and it's difficult, I think it's, it's really... It's really not fair to compare anyone to, you know, Roger or Rafa. It's it's really difficult. But of course, I think that so far, you know, he's still he's still pretty young. He can play for many years. But so far, you know, I think me and um, 
many other were expecting a little bit more from him. You know, not you know, you see in his top level, it's 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 great. You know, he can compete with anyone in the world, even beating them. But he's he's a little bit too up and down, um, you know, to be consistent up there. And I. Such a nice guy, great guy, hardworking guy. So I really hope for him that that uh, you know he can win a Grand Slam or you know be up there uh, again in the rankings because because he's one of the guys that that really deserves it. Not take everything super serious uh, let's say you're a tennis player you know you should be super serious when you're on court but also try to find out what you like try to you know see what interest you have and don't focus too early on only one thing um, you know find hobbies if you're a tennis player try to find hobbies try to uh, spend a lot of time with your with your family you know time flies when you're 15 you will think that uh, you know when life will will be going on forever and you know from from 15 to to 30 years old you think it's an eternity but it, it goes really fast so uh, take care of your your time and also you know listen to um, find someone maybe an older person or someone experienced you know you can have a mentor that you could talk to i think it's 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 really important to learn from 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 smart people and people with experience